Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Karen's Budget and Plan. So as the channel suggests my name is Karen and um, we are a one income family at the moment. I have a business, a work at home business um, where I do YouTube like this. Um, I have two YouTube channels, I have a blog and I also have an Etsy shop or Irish Budget um, that I am building into a business. It's taking a lot of time and effort um, so hopefully we reap the rewards very soon um, so I am here today to talk about a no spend what is a no spend how do I decide on a no spend um, so I have received a couple of questions in the last few videos especially where I talk about my no spend challenge about what is a no spend how do I decide on what is included in my approved expenses for no spend um, and all that sort of stuff. So basically a no spend day is what exactly what it sounds like. You don't spend any money. Um, but to break that down a little bit further for me, a no spend day is I don't spend any money other than my approved categories for the, for the month. So generally people do a no spend day. So I would definitely start off just on a single day basis. Um, so that's basically a day where just say you have decided that basically to start from the start. So before you set out about doing a no spend day, no spend week, no spend month, no spend year, you need to decide what is okay to spend spend so for me things that are always okay to spend are basically what Dave Ramsey calls your four walls okay so that's your your somewhere that you live so your mortgage and your rent and um, your utility bills your food and your clothing okay so what I do is I say that all my bills so I'm in contract with the majority of my bills so my bills like my rent my electric my TV my um, Netflix all these sorts of things I'm okay to spend on those things because they come out automatically of my bank I have them set up as direct debits they come out automatically and I can't really control those because I'm in contracts um, so there for me is an approved expense. Something else for me that's an approved expense is groceries. So I set a certain amount of money for the month for my groceries. So right now it's 90 euro per week. Um, so I set that, uh, that amount and then I'm saying, okay, I'm not allowed to spend more than 360 euros on groceries throughout the month. If I spend more on that, that's included as a, as a spending day. Um, but if I spend just my normal grocery budget, um, that's okay. Now, some people are a lot stricter than that. They say that groceries is a spending, it is spending day, the only thing that they can, um, the only thing that they have in their approved expenses is their like rent or mortgage um, and electricity bills and all that sort of stuff. So it really depends on you what you want. So for instance, I have done three no spend months so far. So the first one was in November and in November I said that everything, um, if I spend on these areas, it's okay, it's classified as a no spend day. So it was petrol, groceries, pet care, my bills, so as I said, Netflix, rent, all those sorts of things, medical, if there's any medical expenses, um, play school, Robert, because Robert wasn't a part of the no spend, Ava for 15 euros and Christmas, because it was November and I was, I was gonna buy Christmas presents. So that's a lot of areas in my approved expenses. So as you can see for November, this is how I done, and I have a whole video on this as well. But basically, um, I achieved 23 no spend days. So 23 days where I stayed in budget and stayed and didn't spend anything other than my approved expenses. Um, so 23 out of 30 um, and I think that was pretty good for my first no spend month. Then we move on to January. January was also a no spend month um, and my approved expenses in that month was groceries, petrol, Roberts, medical bills if needed. Um, medical if my medical sinking fund sorry if needed then our bills and then ava for 15 euros so this is how we done in january and i have a whole video on that and um, if you are interested so basically of the 31 days of january we did no spend for 26 so you can see i reduced down the amount of approved expenses that i have so february is now 
also a no spend month uh this year i'm going to try i'm going to track my no spends in, with my tracker anyways and these trackers you can see there's two different types so this one has like a color this is all in color and then this is just in black um, and you get both of these when you buy the listing from my Etsy shop. I'll have it linked below for you. Um, so you get four PDFs, two with the color and two in black with a 30 and a 31 day of each in color and black. Um, so February is, I haven't colored this in in a good few days. Um, so February, my approved expenses are groceries, petrols, my bills, medical, pet care, um, Ava for 15 euros and also our holiday fund. Um, so there are ex approved expenses so anything outside of that is marked as a no as a spending day so basically what the point of this here is is that you write the month you write down here what your approved expenses are so stuff that you have decided that it's okay for you to spend during the month and um, why you're saving it over here so then every time that you spend um, every time that you achieve just say I went and did my groceries and I also topped up a petrol to me that is still a no spend day so I color this in okay so again it depends so like this one here you can see in the night isn't colored in because we ate out and eating out is not in my approved expenses so therefore I didn't get to color that day in it was a spending day as class as a spending day so what I would advise you to do if you've never ever done it before is to sit down and really decide what it is to you that is okay to spend so go for a day so I am um, I'm as you see quite lenient with my days um, but I am working to try and um, like whittle it down till I only have like four categories and make it harder for myself and um, so I can put in place restrictions like I'm only allowed to go to the grocery store twice per week so once for my full shop and then once for a top up and that's it any other spending from the grocery category is marked as a spending day so I don't get to color in the box the same um it's really the groceries having the grocery budget and having the groceries on my um, approved expenses gives me an aid to spend i am a spender i have i always get the itch to spend even if it's something like for two euros um i want to spend it um so having the having the groceries on my approved expenses really helps me out um but again if i want to challenge myself i would take that off um, and that would really make me think about it because if all I have is my bills there or if there was like a medical emergency or like a pet emergency. So if I only had those three like pet care, um, medical fund and my um, bills, like I would have a lot less no spend days you know i would have at least of the month i would have probably like half of the month as no spend days because most days i do spend some sort of money so right now i am loosely doing it loosely for me you decide what is included in your no spend um but i am going to get a lot stricter with it i'm just right now just getting in the groove of it of it you know um but definitely within the next month or so before um probably like march or april definitely april um i am going to get a lot stricter with the my approved expenses but again it's up to you what you want to do and um, i have people saying oh i've spent already three days this month you know it's just a fail and it's not not a fail because if you think about it if today is the what day is today today is the 19th and let's say you have three spending days you have achieved 16 no spend days to achieve one no spend day is like majorly majorly great you know um, and the whole point of the no spend thing is that essentially you are um, obviously not spending money so therefore that money that you don't spend can be put towards your goal so for a lot of people their goal is getting out of debt 
so you would be able to put that little bit of extra money to the debt that you're currently working on whether it's the smallest debt as in the smallest um, monetary value or it's the one with the highest interest rate or whatever debt that you are paying um, at the moment you would put that extra money at the end of the month that you didn't spend towards that category and you would make an extra debt payment above the minimum that you've already paid for me i'm currently saving for our holiday because we are going on holiday we have no debt we have a small emergency fund of a thousand euros and we're going to go on holidays and that's just how we're choosing to do what to do with our own money so you decide the goal that you want to work for you set out the approved expenses that is okay for you to spend um, and anything that you save um, whether it's like saving extra money from like a cash envelope stuffing or just saving in general overall from not spending on your budget and um, you will put that towards the goal um, so I would advise people to start just doing it on a day-to-day -day basis um, and then get in the role of it then build it up to a no spend week and then build it up to a no spend month um, and as I said for me um, I have still a lot of things in my approved expenses so as the months go so for March and for April I am going to try my best to whittle it down a lot more and get more stricter with myself and in order to save that extra money to put towards our holiday so we can have the type of holiday that we want so i hope that helps some people if you have any questions please do leave them down below or if you want to um, message me directly you can contact me on instagram karen's budget plan is my instagram name and i'll have it in the description box but i want to thank you so much for um for watching and i will talk to you in the next one bye